Hello my darlings and welcome back to another video. This is all what you wanted. I'm gonna answer all your questions that you ask me on Instagram. Uh, if you don't follow me there, go ahead because we do a lot of stuff like this and I post a lot as well. And if you are not subscribed here, please go ahead and do so because I'm quite entertaining. Okay guys, uh, today, as I said, we're gonna do a Q&A. This is gonna be a big mix between perfume and private questions, which make me cringe a little bit and I'm quite scared to answer them, but that's fine, we'll go through it. Uh, I picked 50 questions, so I have to go through them fairly quickly. Uh, I think I have 30 seconds per question uh, because I don't want this video to be over 30 minutes, so I hope I'll make it. and. Uh, other than that, I just have a quick announcement for you and that is uh, if your question is not here, it's probably because it's been repeated a um, few times so I just picked one that answers most of them uh, from the same category and also, uh, guys, just so you know, I've been upgrading my description boxes under the videos so now everything that I'm wearing, including my jewelry that you usually ask about and my makeup and stuff, everything is linked down below also, the perfumes that I'll be talking about will be always linked down below, not only the list, but the links as well. And uh, from some links, I'll be earning a little, little commission. So I will highly appreciate if you click on them and purchase from my video. I would be very, very happy. So that's it, guys. That's it when it comes to announcements. And let's go ahead and jump right in because we don't have much time and I want to answer most of the questions. I did number them, so I hope it will be easier. Also, I'm not wearing any makeup today I'm very sorry and that's because I have fresh set of lashes and I didn't want to wet them you know while removing my makeup so I just want them to set properly but I hope that's fine this is a very casual video so let's go ahead and jump right in okay the first question can you give us a live update on how life is and how you guys are recovering after the robbery so if you don't know guys already we had been robbed um, I'll link a video where I talk about it right here if you want to check it out uh, basically uh, this has made our relationship much much stronger definitely uh, we are at the moment our rides or dies um, literally and yeah that that's the bonus of that other than that of course we are um, dealing with some trauma actually a lot of trauma has been going on around um, here so yeah it's been quite a difficult time for us uh, but we are trying to stay positive and just not really think about it but in, you know just enjoy day by day so that's it question number two what program do you use to edit your videos uh, what will you do when you go back to Poland I mean job okay guys so first of all when it comes to the program that I edit my videos I use um, Final Cut Pro X uh, which is a um, MacBook app uh, it's quite expensive but it's very very nice I really like it and highly recommend it um, also I use few other programs on the internet to do some editing additional like a uh, photo jet to do that to do my thumbnails and also program that removes the background from the picture so I can put nice pictures for you but that's basically it uh, I use Final Cut Pro X and when it comes to me uh, and job in Poland uh, actually YouTube and you know influencing however you want to call it is my job right now uh, and when I go back to Poland I will be setting a full-on company so I'm making um, I am in the process of making it a big business for me so that's that that's what I'm doing <laughs> Okay, question number three. How do you manage your weight in these times around COVID? I love this question. And guys, I'm not gonna sweet talk you and tell you, oh, I'm gymming every day at home, I'm only eating salad. No, that's not true. So first of all, during last year, I unfortunately, due to my hormonal issues, 
um, you know, like lady parts, hormonal issues. I gained a lot of weight because I was switching the medication I was taking. So that really snowballed. Um, at the moment, uh, even though it's quite hard to stay perfectly in shape during the lockdown because gyms are closed, etc. I'm just trying to do intermittent fasting as much as I can. This really helps me and I'm trying to eat healthy as healthy as I can um, and yeah I do a lot of yoga actually so that's what I really do and I also swim a lot uh, and do some you know like weight exercises on my yoga mat stuff like that uh, I used to run a lot uh, when I was in Poland I would do like 10 k's a day uh, back in the day I was in a perfect shape but unfortunately that's long gone so I have to start all over again and that's fine this is life sometimes you just have to start all over so that's it okay question number five already okay I'm, I'm going quite well with time eh? um, are you seeing life uh, in South Africa with new eyes since your break-in to be completely honest, I was warned about South Africa in terms of robberies and stuff like that, but you know, you just never think it happens to you. You just never think like that. So uh, it made me a lot more cautious. I really take care of my belongings when I walk out of the house. So yeah, it made me just very, very cautious. That's what I would say. Okay, question number six. And this is actually a question from uh, Dr. Kwiecie and she is um, my doctor in Poland. She is a cardio surgeon, but she also does beauty treatment, beauty enhancements and stuff like that. I absolutely love her. She's amazing. So, um, well, I'm trying to settle in, but I really, really miss you and I cannot wait to get under your needle again. I'll be honest. <laughs> Okay, question number seven. What are you missing the most of Poland? We love your videos, thank you. Uh, so the thing that I miss the most is, apart from my mom and my friends, is definitely food. I just really, really miss the food um, that my mom makes and that we have in restaurants. I really, really love that food when we, you know, when we were in Poland. And uh, I also miss shops. Uh, it, I know it's very trivial, but I really, really miss shops like Sephora, um, nice clothing stalls, shoe stalls. I really miss that, I'll be honest. Okay, um, are you still practicing law? How does that work since you moved to South Africa? So uh, I touched on that quite a few times. I do not, since I moved out of corporate environment, I do not practice law at all. All that I do is finishing off my PhD. I already finished the PhD studies, so all I have to do is uh, basically write a book, which I'm in the process of. And, uh, you know, I just attend some conferences to just keep me up to date, but that's basically it. Uh, I am at the moment 100% focused on YouTube and social media and growing on those platforms. So that's that. Question number nine. If you could uh, wear only one fragrance for the rest of your life, what would it be apart from Baccarat Rouge 540? Guys, you know me so well because I would probably say Baccarat Rouge. Uh, but I think I would wear Olympia because it's such a versatile fragrance. It's quite fresh, but sexy, but cozy and long lasting. Yeah, I, I think it would be Olympia by Paco Rabanne. Okay, the next question is Holy Grail skincare. And this I will stop it because I will be doing a full on skincare routine for you guys. I also got a lot of questions about my teeth, hair, shower routine, hygiene routine. This will all be coming up, I promise, because I see that you really, really like those videos. So I will prepare them all for you. So I will, I will not answer that for now. But just so you know, when it comes to my skincare, I absolutely love glycolic acid, salicylic acid, retinols and heavy heavy moisturizers and of course tears of my enemies uh, as a new year resolution I want to start YouTube any tips so okay so first of all it really depends on what you want to do with it 
uh, which way you want to go. Do you just want to do it for fun and get a little bit of money or do you want to make it a full on job, business, etc, etc. If that is that second case, just like I did, you have to work very hard, very, very hard, uh, post as much as you can, be very active, prepare yourself for the videos and also I would really suggest investing in proper equipment. This is very, very important. important. Um, so yeah, it, it really is hard work um, to do that, so you have to be prepared for it and hustle, 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 hustle until you get there. Okay, question number 12. What is the men's fragrance that excites you? I would say, to be completely honest, Versace Eros I love. Also Diorome Intense. And um, I think that's it. These two are like my current. And Tom Ford Woodwood. I love Tom Ford Woodwood. So these three, I would say. Okay. Next one, what's the biggest culture shocks you've had in South Africa? So from the nice culture shocks, I would say people are very, very friendly. Uh, so that's a very good thing because, you know, people in Poland are quite closed off. They don't really say, hi, how are you? How was your day? No, no, no. We are very like, hi. That's it. And here people like engage in conversation, etc, etc, even if you don't know them. So that's very nice. Uh, but uh, the bad culture shock, I would say, is that um, there, is, there is a lot of taboo in society and within families. Uh, you don't really talk about sex, you don't really talk about your intimate things, you don't share things, which actually build up a lot of issues and problems, which is not good in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that was very like hard to accept and go through. I mean, it doesn't really, you know, bother me because I'm not like in it. I don't live it. But yeah, this is something that uh, I'm not used to because I was raised in a very, very open um, way and I could talk with my mom about whatever I want. So um, that that is the thing. And of course, within my friends and like my social group, uh, I've always lived in a very open environment and that's not the case here. So that would be it. Okay, next question. Uh, why have you decided to go back home? So this question appeared a lot. I got like at least 20 questions about that. Um, so uh, of course there is a lot of going on behind the scenes and uh, you know that I really don't want to talk about because it's very very private and involves like my partner and stuff. Uh, but my main reason actually is um, business. Um, I need to properly set up my company, do everything around that when it comes to um, accounting, taxes, you know it's just a lot of work and I have to be there. Uh, I have brilliant accountants uh, that are helping me throughout all this time but uh, you know it came to the point that I really have to go back and do things perfectly um, and have a lovely structure to my business. So that is the main reason and of course my mom. I, I would love to see her as soon as possible. Okay next question. Best fragrance house? It's hard. Uh, from designer, I would probably say Dior. Um, and from niche, uh, I don't want to say Montal because people will be like, uh, but I really love Montal. And I think my current favorite fragrance house is definitely Francis Courjan house. Love it. And I really intend to do a big shopping from the brand. So love that. Okay, next question, guys. Uh, if you can only choose two fragrances on a desert island, what would they be? So since we are on a desert island, I definitely don't need anything warm and cozy because I probably would be burning in heat and I would need suntan lotion more than anything. But I would, again, choose Olympia and maybe uh, Light Blue Intense by Dolce & Gabbana. These two are like no-brainer for vacation. Okay, next question. Okay, next question is favorite luxury bag. So I'm, I wasn't really sure how to approach this because uh, is it the luxury bag 
uh, that I own or like my favorite wish list and I actually got a lot of questions about it so the one that I would say is like my wish list I really really want it and I intend to get it soon uh, is uh, Lady Dior by Dior in size small <sighs> I'm in love uh, but for now the favorite that I do own I think is this and that is Gucci Marmont in small size in color blue petrol I think and it's the velvet one and I must say I wasn't really sure about those bags when they came out and now something changed and I'm absolutely in love and I will be getting it in so many more colors I, I just love it it's so perfectly size it's so comfortable the chain is very light I love it I just love it I'm gonna stop rambling about it Okay, next, next question is Jean-Paul Gaultier Labelle or Parfums de Marly de Lina? <laughs> to be completely honest, I think I would go with de Lina just because it's so sophisticated and luxurious. Yeah, I think I would go with de Lina, hands down. My boyfriend would disagree, but whatever. Okay, next question. If you had to run out of the door and throw one perfume in your bag, what would it be? I had so many situations like this and I usually pick different ones. Uh, but I think uh, something that, you know, it's not too big, um, just perfect for every day, probably Baccarat Rouge in the smaller bottle or uh, Dolce Garden by Dolce & Gabbana because this is another like Oh yeah, round no-brainer for me. I love it. Okay, next question. What are your top five lip liners and lipsticks of all time? Love you. I love you too. Okay, so with this one, I will again also do a video on, but I have to say that you guys have to try KKW Beauty. I know there are different opinions about Kim Kardashian and her branding, but the lip liners, this is mainly what I wear um, and the lipsticks and the lip glosses you just have to try them, you just have to try them everything will be linked below so that's that okay, uh, how did you manage to stay motivated during your studies? and uh, I'm actually gonna open up here a little bit because you have to see the bigger picture uh, so I went to college, to law school right after my parents got divorced and this was a very ugly divorce my father was acting very badly uh, towards my mom and me even though that was um, basically his fault and he was the one leaving um, also during that time my grandmother was dying from cancer so you know we were on and off from hospitals um, so basically my motivation was that I didn't want to be another burden for my mom and I just didn't want her to have any problems with me that's why I just worked very hard to um, get through my college without any issues uh, and that was my main motivator but also I have that kind of mindset that when I start something I have to finish this no matter what and I don't really see myself failing I really really rarely see myself failing and I think this is the mindset you have to have whatever you do whether it is being an influencer, uh, studying, um, any type of work you just have to see yourself as the winner you don't fail, you just don't fail, it's not an option and that's what got me through it okay next one any ideas for your valentines and fragrance so when it comes to valentines I will leave it to my boyfriend but I'm sure we're gonna do something quite adventurous this year because last valentines we just had to stay at home actually we, no we actually went to a restaurant but that was it because we were starting the lockdown probably as I remember anyways this year I really want to do something fun so maybe we will have a nice picnic on the beach and then get to uh, some adventure park we'll see we'll see but there are many nice things around um, that we can do so that's that and when it comes to fragrance I will let you know in my next video Valentine's fragrances yes Queen okay next one uh, how are you feeling mentally uh, okay guys so I will answer to you in a very uh, Buddhist way 
My core is still, but my leaves are shaking. Yeah, so basically, um, I feel very grounded within myself, you know. Um, I worked so, so hard to get to the point that uh, not many things can break me that are outside. However, uh, I am definitely shaky a little bit day by day. I do suffer from terrible anxiety. Um, I have uh, attacks again, even though there, there have been few months that have been quite calm. This is all back again. So yeah, um, I'm really struggling to be completely honest, but uh, I keep myself motivated, I keep myself busy, I worked hard every single day, I wake up very early and I try to have the longest day that I have that I can have to do as much as I can. So that's it, that's it. Okay. Okay, next question is quite fun. Do you have Italian jeans because you read Italian perfume names so good? And I also got a few of these. No, I do not have Italian jeans, unfortunately. Uh, I wish. However, my mom looks very, very Italian. Uh, the reason why I uh, speak Italian a little bit is because I speak Spanish, so it's you know easy for me to pronounce. And also I learned a little bit because I had Italian dudes Simple as that. Love makes you learn. <laughs> Trust me. All right. Next one. Um, you have your fave gourmand. By the way, you're such a natural exotic beauty. Oh my god, thank you. My favorite gourmand at the moment, I think, is Fave Delicieuse by Dior. Even though it's quite powdery, I really, really love the structure of the fragrance. So that's that. Um, if how do you have such a strong British accent if you're Polish? <laughs> okay, so so which one, guys? Which one, guys? This side. Um, I'm kidding. Um, so I actually spent a lot of time in Great Britain since I was a child and then as an adult. Uh, but I don't really think I have a British accent at all. But that's that's your opinion. Okay. Um, okay. Next question. When are you getting married? Love you. Babe, when are we getting married? When I am a millionaire. Heaven knows you are expensive. There you go. Love you. Yeah. Okay, next question. If you could only pick one perfume to wear forever, what would it be? Is it possible? No, this is not possible. And this time I would say Baccarat Rouge Extrait or Oud Satin Mood. But it's, as you can see already, this is not possible. It's not. Okay, uh, do you feel intimidated by other people's uh, perfume collections? Uh, do you feel insecure? No, guys, I don't feel insecure because um, I'm such a strong person. Like, you know, there's nothing that can break me. I did what I had to do. I educated myself, I speak few languages, and I have a nice collection too. So, that uh, material things are never something that would make me feel insecure. What would make me think, uh, feel insecure if someone is younger than me and already has a massive business. You know what I mean? But it's not really insecurity, it's more like, dang, I need to work harder. This is my mindset, so no, 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 no. Okay, um, what is it you didn't like about your corporate job? <laughs> is there anything I liked, first of all? Um, basically, I, I went to corporate because, you know, I was a young lawyer and uh, I moved out of the house. I needed money and, you know, corporate is like a very steady job that, you know, you're going to get paid. Uh, what I didn't like is definitely the mindset of people I worked with. Uh, of course, I did make friends and I'm still friends with them and they are beautiful people, but there are like a handful of people. Uh, apart from that, people there who like work, working there uh, have very like closed-minded mindset. Uh, they don't really uh, spread their horizons at all, and they're very very jealous. Uh, and that's yeah, that that's absolutely terrible. And also, um, I really didn't like working with uneducated management because that really bo bothered me, to be honest. Okay, next. Uh, have you ever thought YouTube was going to be your full-time job? 
I dreamt of it, to be completely honest. Actually, I dreamt of it since I started um, studying law. Because that's when I got to watching YouTube and I was absolutely over the moon. It was so cool for me, uh, so creative, you could do so much. Uh, so now I'm super, super happy and basically I am making my dream come true. So yeah, I kind of, I kind of thought about it, I did. Okay, uh, do you wear perfume to bed? If so, which one? Love from Kenya. Hello, neighbor. Okay, uh, so I do wear perfume to bed, but not very strong ones because my uh, partner has terrible sinus problems and he always sneezes when I spray my perfumes. So all I can wear is like very soft, soft fragrances. For example, Alaya Nude by Alaya or, you know, something like that around that realm so unfortunately I cannot wear like heavy hitters or anything okay next question my darlings how did you get into scuba diving is it scary and most beautiful place to dive so most beautiful place to dive apart from Thailand which is fantastic I would say what amazed me the most is blue hole in Egypt that you know it's it's just fantastic Google blue hole uh, and I got into it since I was a teenager I was really into it I would always spend all my time in water since I was a kid I was obsessed I wanted to be a mermaid so you know it came naturally and it was never scary for me maybe like the first time when you actually hear yourself breathing through the aqua lung because you hear yourself breathing but other than that, when you get used to it, it's fantastic. Fantastic. You have to try it if you have a chance. Have to try it. Okay, next question. An amazing feminine Neroli perfume. Uh, I would say uh, Love Don't Be Shy by Killing is beautiful Neroli. Also uh, Elisab Le Parfum by Elisab. Um, also, is there a car going? Oh, so annoying. Also, I would say uh, this is actually on my wish list. Shh, I'm getting it soon and I will review it for you. It is Memo Paris Sintra. Beautiful. So that's that. I love this question, guys. This is so cool. Would you rather be beautiful but smell bad or average and smell good? Please comment down below what would you choose. I, I'm dying to know. I'm dying to know. Okay, so to be completely honest, I would love to be beautiful. But <laughs> smelling cuck? Terrible? No. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Maybe 7 out of 10 and smell good would be more reasonable. What do you think? Please leave me a comment down below. But again, when you smell bad, you can just shower, right? Is it... Is it applicable? Can I can I say that? Then I want to be a 10 out of 10. <laughs> okay, next question. Okay, next question is very nice. Is it better to live in Poland or South Africa and why? Um, so, uh, when it comes to views, surroundings, beauty of nature, definitely South Africa. This is one of the most beautiful places in the world hands down and trust me i've traveled a lot and this is like 10 out of 10 um but uh when it comes to like shopping if you are like me and you like fashion and stuff then like shopping and stuff it's not very nice here i must admit even in cape town and johannesburg yes you do have like super luxurious um shops um, but they are quite rare and not very accessible and also the taxes are very very high here for luxury goods So I would say for that Poland hands down uh, For the views and surroundings the environment South Africa hands down. So that's my answer What advice would you give to someone thinking of starting fragrance Instagram blog, etc? Um, as I said before, it really depends if you want to make it your hobby solely or make it a business. 
uh, if the second case is applicable then you have to work very hard and if it's Instagram you have to take beautiful pictures in my opinion you have to have beautiful equipment to take those pictures this is very important like look at those big influencers and just you know take from them what they're doing uh, they have the best cameras they have the best lenses the best lighting uh, also lighting is so so important in your um, pictures as well as editing them uh, I don't know if you have noticed by on on my Instagram page I only use one filter and I adjust it accordingly to each um, picture but mainly all my feed is in like one uh, dim light one like um, profile of color so really keep that in mind make it clean make it nice and make it interesting that's what I would suggest um, you and your boyfriend's zodiac signs. I'm Aquarius. My bo my boyfriend is Libra, and my birthday is coming soon on the 11th of February, which is Thursday. Don't forget. I would love to get some wishes from you. Okay. The next question is your academic career, your motivation, and how hard it was. So to be completely honest, guys, I um I don't really feel like it was that hard because uh, I was like really really driven uh, but I didn't learn a lot to be completely honest um, most people learned a lot more than me uh, I was like you know sliding into the last bit of points to just pass and that's it I didn't really care for the notes um, and when it comes to my PhD it was actually quite hard to get to uh, even though I pay for it um, I had to have a certain um, note from my studies and also um, language knowledge and the whole view of what you're gonna do with your PhD so they re they examine all of it and then they let you in so that's that where do you see yourself in five years so I definitely see myself as a very prosperous business owner um, this is my absolute goal I don't want to even say a dream this is my goal uh, I would really love to have um, a nice place with my partner and maybe married who knows and definitely a pet I would love to have a dog or a cat Okay, next question. Have you ever experienced mobbing at work? Oh, yes, I have. Yes, I have by a very insecure person who really tried hard um, to make me feel less than uh, because she was so empty inside. Do you have a favorite romantic destination? Yes, definitely. And I must say it's Italy. I absolutely love Italy. I breathe Italy. I love Rome. I love Tivoli. I just adore, adore Amalfi Coast as well. Uh, Positano. Uh, um, I'm just in love with Italy overall. So that would be my favorite romantic destination. Also, Santorini and Mykonos in Greece. Picobello. Love them. I, I just got excited. I feel like I'm already there. <laughs> uh, which is the best, Manège Rouge or Amber Oud Rouge by Al Harami? I reviewed them both on my channel, so go ahead and um, see. But between them two, I would definitely say um, Manège Rouge. I love that one. What is the one perfume note that you cannot stand? Uh, I don't really like leather definitely don't like leather I also don't like fragrances that are too smoky and I am also not the biggest fan of strong iris or strong violet these I don't really really like so yeah and you know patchouli sometimes it's very nice but usually I don't really love it okay next question is did your family have a problem with your boyfriend being black <laughs> 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 Stop laughing! <laughs> First of all guys, I have to correct you, he's not entirely black. He's a mix of German, Irish, Indian and proper indigenous South African. So that's not really black, that's colored. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, I know you are low-key asking me if my family is racist and the answer is no, absolutely not. <laughs> 
Okay guys, so the next question is actually in Spanish, so if you don't mind, I will answer in Spanish too. Uh, hola, ¿cómo aprendiste a hablar español? ¿Te gusta hablarlo? Um, hola, querida. Uh, he aprendido a hablar español en la escuela cuando era pequeña uh, y después tuve una tutora privada. Uh, ahora no hablo español mucho y estoy segura de que tengo que practicar, uh, pero es mi lengua favorita y amo español mucho, mucho, mucho y amo España y todos mis españolas aquí en YouTube. Besos. Ok, next question is, uh, what do you think is the perfect first date perfume? I would love to see a video on this. Ok, so I will do a video on this, but for now I would say it has to be something classy, sexy and not too in your face. Even though I love heavy fit hitters, it cannot be too in your face. So a video is coming up, so I'll keep you posted. What did you wear on outfit? Our first date was with my boyfriend then, so... <laughs> no, but I'm in, in Katowice. Oh, uh, Olympia. Olympia. Okay, next question. Okay, any cultural differences you have to get used to when, it move, when you move to South Africa? Oh, guys, definitely, definitely. Uh, as I said before, uh, there is a lot of taboo within the society and like friend groups and family groups, etc. You cannot really speak freely and openly and do things that you would do um, that you're used to. Uh, for example, my culture in Europe is absolutely like open and fun and you know, we like to drink a lot of alcohol and you know, you can do it openly uh, with your family if you're an adult. Uh, this is not the case here, so that really was something that I had to like, you know, get used to and get around with. But you know, I'm still not used to it and yeah. Whatever. <laughs> okay, next question is uh, related to my um, moving to Poland. You said you're going back to Poland. Are you moving back or only visiting? So guys, to be completely honest, I don't know yet. Um, as much as I would love to stay there for a while because my mom already secured me an apartment. Everything is settled for me to come back. Uh, I don't know how it goes with my partner's job and we definitely want to stay together. Um, so, you know, We'll see what happens. Maybe I will be going back and forth from South Africa to Poland. We'll see. And the last question, guys, is have you ever visited London? And the answer is yes. I actually used to live there for a bit uh, when I was little. And then I used to work um, within the London-based corporate. So I would go there for work uh, quite a few times. I absolutely love London. Of course, me being me, I had a dude there. Uh, so, you know, romance everywhere, all around the world. This is me. Um, so, yeah, I absolutely love London. I love the shops. I love the culture. I love the places I love the restaurants everything is fantastic one of my favorite places to be uh, I'm hoping one day I will be able to live there so that's that guys this is it I actually made it I am so so surprised um, tell me if you liked it um, some questions actually did intimidate me a little bit and I had to be very diplomatic about them uh, but I hope I did well please leave me a comment down below what you think if you have any other questions I would love to hear from you and thank you so so much for watching and staying with me if you stay till the end you're the best you actually learned a lot about me um, so yeah I hope you guys see me in the next video and Till tomorrow, I guess. Bye.